All right, just going to do a video showing that the book of Job has tons of verses that refute the heresy of Pelagianism. Now, what is Pelagianism? Well, Pelagianism is basically the doctrine. Let me just pull up my notes real quick. Pelagianism is basically a doctrine. They deny that man has um, a sinful body, a sinful nature. They deny that you're born with a sinful, with a corrupt body of flesh, basically. It's, it's basically a sinless perfection. And they deny these clear scriptures in the book of Job that clearly teach otherwise. Because sinless perfectionism is of the devil. It's that simple. Uh, Satan said to Eve in Genesis 3, 5, ye shall be as gods. If you can be sinlessly perfect, you can be sinless like God. Or as, as Jesse Morell would put it, an imitator of God, an imitator of Christ. Uh, you're becoming your own God, essentially. But this is what the book of Job teaches. Because there's, there's verses all throughout the Old Testament. But the book of Job is packed with verses that refute the uh, Luciferian heresy of Pelagianism. First of all, Job chapter 4, verse 17. It clearly says that mortal man is not on God's level of holiness. Job chapter 4, verse 17. Shall mortal, shall, shall mortal man be more just than God? Shall a man be more pure than his maker? Well, by, by Pelagianism, Luciferian type logic, we, we can be on God's level of holiness if we be sinlessly perfect or an imitator of God. But this verse says otherwise. You can't be more holy than, your, than God, essentially. Okay, next point. Humans are born, clearly born with a corrupt body of flesh. Job chapter 15, verse 14 to 16. Refutes the Cal the both Calvinism and uh, Pelagianism. It's a false dichotomy too, by the way. You have Calvinism and then you got the Arminianism and Pelagianism on the other side. Both of them are false. It's a false, whole big false dichotomy there. But Job chapter 15, verse 14 to 16. What is a man that he should be clean? And he which is born of a woman that he should be righteous. Behold, he putteth no trust in his saints. Yea, the heavens are not clean in his sight. How much more abominable and filthy is man which drinketh iniquity like water. Flies right in the face of the Luciferian Pelagianism false doctrine. Job chapter 25, verse 4 to 6. Further proving my point. How, how then can man be justified with God? Or how can he be clean with that is born of a woman? Behold, even to the moon, that, and it shineth not, yea, the stars are not pure in his sight. How much less man that is a worm, and the son of man which is a worm? That's simple. Good uh, verse humbling you as well, showing you're just, God compares you to a worm. If you're you in your sinful, corrupt body of flesh, you're no different than a worm. But the, the self-righteous Pelagians don't like, Pelagian Luciferians don't like that. Because it, it kicks their uh, self-righteousness and belief they can be imitators of God. Uh, next point, the body of flesh is corrupt and experiences physical death. Uh, Job chapter 34, verse 15. Job 34, verse 15. All flesh shall perish together, and a man shall turn again unto dust. You know, like how God made uh, Genesis chapter 3 verse 19 talks about from dust thou art, and dust thou shalt, thou shalt return. Paraphrasing, of course. Yeah, your flesh is just like dust. You're going to fall away like dust. You're, you're basically just animated dirt, essentially. That's that's your flesh. But the, sin, the sinless perfection Pelagian Luciferians will say, oh no, that's a Gnostic heresy to say your flesh is sinful. You know, well, I guess Job was a Gnostic then. Job chapter 13, verse 12. Another good scripture on the subject. Job 13, verse 12. Your remembrance is like are like unto ashes, your bodies unto bodies of clay. Yep, that's your that's your flesh right there. It can experience physical death. Why? Because it's corrupt. Now here's here's two scriptures that just destroy the Luciferian Pelagian doctrine. And by Pelagian logic, by the Luciferian Pelagian logic, I guess Job here was just espousing Gnostic heresy. Job, uh, right here in these two passages, he acknowledges that the body of flesh is corrupt and sinful. Outright. Oh, Job chapter 40, verse 3 to 4. Really powerful scripture on the subject. Job 30, verse 3 to 4. Then Job answered the Lord and said, Behold, I am vile. What shall I answer thee? I will lay mine hand upon my mouth. But I guess the Pelagians know better, and they would just say, Well, Job, you're just you're just espousing a Gnostic doctrine. It's a uh, insanity. It's it's of the devil too. They're just self righteous. Job chapter forty two verse one to six. Then Job answered the Lord and said, I know that thou canst do everything, and that no thought can be withholden from thee. Who is he that hideth counsel without knowledge? Therefore I have I uttered that I understood not things too wonderful for me, which I knew not. Here I beseech thee, and I will I will speak. I will demand of thee, and declare thou unto me. 
I have heard of thee by the hearing of the ear, and now my eye seeth thee. Look at verse 6. Wherefore I abhor myself, and repent in dust and ashes. You see, Job knew he was corrupt. Job knew that, you know, because right here God's humbling him. Job is humble and he knew, yeah, I'm wicked. You know, God, you're, you're, you're the holy one. You're the righteous one. That simple. Pelagianism is a Luciferian doctrine that denies the fact that our corrupt, our bodies of flesh are corrupt and can experience physical death and are mortal, essentially. Ever called, we're called mortal, man, in verse uh, chapter 4, verse 17, like I read earlier. So don't be deceived by Pelagianism. It is, like I said, a Luciferian false doctrine. Uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.